Hello, guess where I am? I'm back in Devon, yay! And I'm with my horses who are having their tea. Um, this is the first time we've been back for about four weeks, which is like, yay, I'm so pleased I'm down here. Um, it was a bit of a drive. I've got some footage to put on in a bit um, of exactly what the traffic was like. Not so much on our side, but more on the other side of everybody leaving Devon, Somerset and Cornwall. And if you were, rather you than me. Um, but we're back here to sort some bits and pieces out, collect up some stuff, pack some bits away. Um, the horses are being moved in two weeks time. It was meant to be earlier, but unfortunately we had a missing passport problem. And so we've had to apply for new passports. Um, they can take um, a few days to come through. So we're gonna come back and shift the horses, hopefully in two weeks time. So we're here just to do some bits and pieces and it's really nice, it's lovely down here. Um, this is the first time I've actually stood um, out here in the field without a coat on, without a jumper. It's like, yay, <laughs> tropical. So uh, we'll take you around with us, whatever we get up to in the next few days. And um, now we better go and pack some stuff into the car. Bye. Hello, it's Bank Holiday Monday. We're travelling down the M5. It's been an interesting journey. Anybody that went to Stratford on Bank Holiday Monday, I feel your pain because I was sat waiting for you lot to get into Stratford. Um, then we got onto the motorway and it was okay. It was a bit heavy. Got through Bristol thinking this is a bit of all right. Got over the Avonmouth Bridge and everything stopped because there had unfortunately been a bit of a shunt earlier and everyone was rubbernecking. So, um, rubbernecking is when you like, everyone slows down to have a look at what's happened at the accident. It's terrible. So, anyway, we're now, um, we've had to slow down now because um, we're in a section where they're doing, in Somerset, where they're doing the central reservation. So, it's a 50 mile an hour stretch. However, the traffic coming out of Devon, Cornwall and Somerset heading north. If you yeah, so are watching this and you were or are or whatever. Yeah, whatever, we're in that traffic. I feel your pain again because it's we, stop, we start, do. stop, start. We all do. We've been watching it, and at the moment, it's we're all crawling at 50 miles an hour. But um, in fact, I'm only doing 40 because I can't be bothered to go for 50. Um, can't but you, no, 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 it's better going at 40 than 50 because they've got those, they've got the um, speed cameras. So we're just pottering our way down. Wait, it's got what speed into cameras? Devon. This has got speed cameras on here, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm stupid. <laughs> so we're just mark. making our way down to Devon and going to see the horses, do some jobs. Yeah. Um, whatever we do, we will try and take you with us for as much as we can for the next couple of days. See you later. Bye. We're a little bit further down now. We're just coming up to the end of Somerset and when you can see through my window at all if <laughs> if you can pan around here but this is how the traffic has been virtually all the way um, on the other side of the road stopping and starting depending on what um, junctions we're letting traffic in we're doing 50 because we're in another section where they're doing some work so it's so never much. leave the southwest on a bank holiday Monday it's illegal if you do it <laughs> So this is my um, my horse inspection time. Um, rugs are off, obviously. And uh, for those of you who've got horses, you'll recognise the telltale signs of winter coat coming out. And I think she's got rid of most of it. She's got a few patches where um, 
the rugs were rubbed, rugs, <laughs> rugs rubbed a little bit, but um, that'll all come back, won't it? Hey, and her feet need a farrier as soon as we can get one once she's up country. But um, considering Mizzy's supposed to be grey, Mum was grey, Dad was grey. The only grey bit Mizzy's got that really, actually picks up on her is this bit here, isn't it? And I think there's um, some flecks on her leg, which is really funny. But overall, she's looking okay. She's not dropped any any weight for her, which is good. Um, but she's always held her weight quite well. Lizzie, on the other hand, being thoroughbred, well, half thoroughbred and half warm blood, she has lost some weight, um, haven't you? And she's covered in flies and she won't let us get... Oh, well, if you've been following my vlog since last year you'll know that she won't let us get anywhere near her with fly spray or fly rugs she doesn't like those and she doesn't like um the head things either she'd rather just stand there and shake um but for the flies to be out this early it's not nice so hopefully a couple of days when it rains to get rid of it but she's looking her feet aren't looking too bad i'm gonna have to do her feet which would be interesting because she's not had her feet done for a long time so we have to find a very patient farrier for that one um, but she has lost a bit of weight. Um, she's not so much lost condition. She's not too bony, are you? Hey, there's a little bit less there than there should be, and I can't can't feel her ribs, which is a good thing. But I always like to check them when the rugs come off, just to see how they've done over winter. I'm not sure what's coming out on this because I can't really see the camera very well, but I can't see the screen. <laughs> But no, she's looking all right, and they're still eating. They've got bits of grass coming up, and they've still got their haylage. Joe's looking after them. Thank you, Joe. And um, they're here for, like I said, a couple more weeks in this field, and then they'll be off up to Devon, where they actually um, probably will get spoiled. They're going to a really nice yard um, with solarium for when we wash them. Wash them. Wash, wash that one. That one there. I don't actually think she's ever had a bath. No, she hasn't. Mizzy has. Mizzy had lots of baths because she was um, she was backed and ridden and she was competed um, in hand as a baby, so she was quite always kept quite clean. But um, no, the black one could be a bit of an issue when it comes to washing. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Now I've done my little inspection of the girls to make sure that, you know, more so um, to make sure that, you know, we've not got too much hard work to get them um, not fit, because they're never going to be, <laughs> they're never going to be competition fit. Although I think Mizzy would be quite good to do, if she had a foal, she'd be really good to do mare and foal classes with. She might do veteran in hand as well, if she can remember how to behave. Although I might have to lose some weight because quite frankly, me running with her <laughs> is this gonna happen? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to go now down to our accommodation, which I will video for you, but oh it's obviously like see a month of not doing the gate and I can't do it. And um we'll video that and add that in at some point. I'm not sure whether it'll go onto this vlog or I'll do a whole vlog of um places we've stopped that might just be something a bit different and then we'll see the girls again later on whatever time we get back we're hoping to go I'm hoping because it's Bank Monday and everybody <laughs> fingers crossed is now on the M5 going north um, some of the places will have calmed down a bit so that we can actually go and um, go to the beach uh, or sit at Northern Burrows somewhere like that so anyway wherever we go I'll take you with us later see you soon ta ta Something I forgot to mention. Um, across the other side of the burrows, where the horses are, there's the odd person you can see walking. You probably can't see it very well. They do actually have golf clubs with them because this is the oldest Lynx golf club in the world. This is Royal North Devon. Um, patron president is Prince Andrew, Duke of York who I believe does play down here. Um, I've played um, the course before. It's nice if you like links, it's very open. 
can be very windy. Horses and the sheep are have a right to roam, so they do have to sometimes mark off some of the the um, the holes because the sheep <laughs> just eat the grass. Um, but there's some ponies over there I can see, and then obviously I can just about hear the sea, but the tide is out. Can't really hear it, but there's a kind of low hiss you can hear. But there's lots of lots of lambs. Right over there, there in the far, far, far distance is Saunton. Oh dear, I think I've got a touch of hay fever. And that's it, that's it for today. I shall do some more bits and bobs, <laughs> wherever we go, tomorrow before we head back up to the Midlands. Good afternoon, it's Tuesday and I'm just doing my last feed before heading back up the motorway. Um, this morning, the girls had, unfortunately, with all the moving about I've done, um, passports have been lost. I'm not entirely sure whether they were lost by me or they've been lost when they've been out on loan or, anyway. Um, so we've had to have new passports. So the vet's been, um, checked her microchip because she was microchipped as a foal and she's had her equine flu and her tetanus and then madam here um has had a microchip and equine flu and tetanus and we've just um done her extra bits on her passport so i'm just going to have a look at how she's doing she got a bit of a, a snotty nose this morning i think she might have had hay fever <laughs> bless her um it could be down to ooh, the amount of dry food she's had or atmosphere she's a bit well they're not covered in flies now they were they had flies last night but it, it seems to be a lot better for flies today because as soon as it's cooler and there's a wind flies don't hang about um but anyway you know hopefully um they'll be okay <laughs> now for a uh, couple of weeks or so and then um, we'll be back down to shift them up to their new place in Leicestershire so I'm just here to say bye bye to my girls so sad because I hate leaving them behind because you know they're my babies but they're well looked after and uh, fingers crossed they might get a bit of rain they could both do with a good roll in a dirty patch of mud couldn't you hey She's like, yeah, mum, you know, I'm still, still eating my tea. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave them to eat and I'm going to head off and uh, hopefully have a decent journey back up the motorway. So I will speak to you all again very soon. Bye bye. Hello made it back to Leicestershire, got back Tuesday night with a croaky voice after doing everything with the horses and came down with a whacking cold yesterday. As you can hear, still here. Um, this is my second, second cold now, this year. Loving it. Anyway, um, I'm in the garden at the moment. Um, this is actually my parents' garden and I've just been I've been offered a job to do their gardening. Well, actually, to be perfectly honest, I think I offered to do their gardening, or at least some of it. I can't do the heavy um, tree stuff. There's some dead trees behind me that um, are sort of hidden that need to come out. I can't do those, and she's got a gardener who'll come and do things like that. But uh, we're going to grow some plants. We're going to try and <laughs> sort this lot out here, which every year runs away with my mother. There's all those I don't know what you would call it. We called it sticky buds. Do you remember? It was like, um, if you were kids, you'd go wading through long grass, you'd get all that long trailing stuff stuck to you. And it had all the little tiny, little tiny seed pods that stuck to you as well. So the plant did a grand job of, of surviving. Um, but all these, these are, these are actually beech trees that have come from the squirrels. And the squirrels over the years have um, brought the beech nuts in and buried them in the garden and they've grown and of course things get left and they grow and they grow and they grow 
So that's the job in the garden. Um, Horse-wise, Vet had to go out to see Mizzy this morning. Her nose was still pouring green snot. He thinks it might be teeth. Um, jo was with him, so she's um, she's got antibiotics to give Miz. She's had Mizzy's had a, um, an antibiotic shot. Um, they've had a look in her mouth, but Mizzy has. I think I might have mentioned it before. She has advanced periodontal disease, and she's had it since she was a baby. Um, we discovered it when she was about three and a half she was having teeth problems and food was getting impacted in in the side of her face she had some teeth out and we were told at the time then by um, the surgeon that if she had to have any more teeth out she would have to be put down because she's got nothing at the back to chew on which is where you know they they bite from the front and that it goes to the back of the jaw to be chewed and masticated to go inside Mizzy's living on borrowed time and has done for, for 15 years so we've done well with her and she's fairly, you know, she's happy, she can eat food. But I think I'm going to get the pair of them back here and then probably make some serious decisions what we do because I think if Mizzy's quality of life is going to go down because she's got some teeth problems, then I've got to make some serious decisions about her welfare. I can't have her not eating, in pain, runny noses because she's got a blocked sinus and what have you. So not the nicest of things to do but I've had my own stud and um, we had 35 horses at one time um, it's one of those things unfortunately um, some horses are going to be fantastic and will live forever I mean good grief the girl might go on for another 10 years knowing her but um, we'll see we'll get them back and then see what the vets up here have to say um, and go from there so that's my update for this part of the week it's Thursday um, I've just been to the garden centre again to get some canes and stakes and things. It's been raining on and off so we've not been able to do any gardening. But I'm now going to go and empty more boxes because I still haven't unpacked. And that's my job. So no more gardening today. I'll speak to you tomorrow hopefully.